Android Q Beta 1 is already available. If you long press, it will still give you the Pi Easter egg. But if you long press enough, it will give you an option to write whatever you want. I'm not sure what this means, but anyway, let's get started. Dark mode is present on the device. There is no real way to toggle it. So you can turn on the battery server mode to start the dark mode, which is present across the system. And you can turn off the dark mode again by turning off the battery server mode. If you want to block such hideous notifications from share it application, swipe from right to left and you won't be able to dismiss it. If you swipe from left to right, you will be able to dismiss it. Swipe from right to left and it will give you an option to snooze or disable all the notifications completely. If you remove any icon from home screen, you have an option to undo that. Just go into Wi-Fi settings. If you want to share your network, click on share. Someone can scan this and can connect to your network. Do not connect to my Wi-Fi now. You can see the remaining battery percentage right now. But if I scroll down in the notification panel, it will show you how long the battery is going to last. Permissions menu is completely changed. It will give you three different options. Allow all the time. Allow only while the app is in use or deny. I'm going to select allow only when the app is in use. Very minor theming options are present. Scroll down at the bottom of developer options. You can change the accent color to black, green or purple. Purple is my favorite. You can change the font as well. I am not a huge fan of this particular font, so I'm going to change it immediately to the device default font. You can change icon shape and you have multiple options such as teardrop, squircle, which means square plus circle and rounded rectangle, which means squircle, but less of circle. If you take a screenshot with Pixel 3 XL, the notch will be present in the screenshot as well. I have the Pixel 2 XL, so I don't have the notch issue because I have the bezels issue. Inbuilt screen recording option is present in Android Q. You can enable that by going into develop options, then select feature flags, then enable settings screen record long press. Now just long press on the power button, long press on the screenshot app, and it will give you an option to record the screen. New file manager app is present. I am not sure what's new here because everything looks old and uh, it's not intuitive at all. Solid file explorer is the way to go even now. Battery saver can now turn on automatically depending on how you use the phone. For that, go into battery saver, then go into set a schedule and select based on your routine. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get notified next time I upload a video. Thank you.